Hi all, Mass Bound Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today it is April the 4th and we are still in isolation. It is now day 24. So I have taken um, yeah, advantage of those extra days and when I did not make a video yesterday. Um, so I have just been spring cleaning the workshop with <laughs> some help from Alfred. So uh, yeah, how much help that is. So the situation in Denmark is actually pretty stable. We have less people in uh, intensive care than we uh, used to, and we are still sub 200 dead. So overall it's going pretty fine, and the healthcare services are not yet at a point where they cannot do the work or help people. So that's very good. Today we are going to take a look at fuses, because there have been a few things that I did not think about that we can film uh, in the continuous uh, series of daily videos. But during the spring cleanup I have actually found some more, so I will do a couple of more videos about some different components, subjects, something to do with electronics. So let's look at fuses. So during cleaning I have uh, filled up some drawers with the components. Uh, mainly um, what I have done is I can actually find components everywhere and I've put the same type of component in the same place. So, Alfred. So here I have a assortment of different DC fuses. Um, automatic uh, mini circuit breakers. This is a 80 volt DC at uh, some 37.5 uh, trip amps and they go way up to some I think this is a 100 amp, yeah, 100 amp uh, breaker or fuse. Also put the uh, DC uh, relays down here, along with residual uh, current uh, detectors, normally to be installed in households, and a single transient detect detector. But yeah, I have so many transients, so why bother? Now it's not just one drawer. But there was another drawer with mini circuit breakers. Now this ranges from the 2 amp mains uh, 400 to, uh, or 230 volt AC up to DC some 125 amp uh, breakers. Else it is ranging from yeah, different characteristics C, B, D, K. And this all, all has to do with the time and the current curves at which these break default current. Also a C6 there. And yeah, there's another drawer. It just uh, keeps on coming. Um, once you strip uh, main distribution panels and machine uh, control panels, you seem to round up quite a lot of these uh, breakers and fuses. The largest fuse I ever had was this uh, 200 amp, 7.2 kilovolt um, fuse. Now it's uh, hollow because I made a teardown of this. As you can see, it was a blown fuse. But you should really check that out. It's incredible how much engineering went into uh, making these high voltage fuses and ensure that they can break during a very high energy fault current. Definitely check that out. I was so surprised how much uh, technology was inside that ceramic tube. Now, um, smaller versions of this um, is something like these, which are semiconductor fuses. Now, this came from a X-ray unit, and this was protecting the SCR inverter. So here you actually had a 224 amp fuse that would blow before the SCR pucks would explode. Because older switch technology could take much higher short circuit energies than today's modern um, IGBTs and MOSFETs and such. Really big and nice uh, fuse there. Some um, smaller also um, inverter fuses. These are rated at 700 volts and 20 amps. As you can see those are pretty large for 20 amps. and. The whole uh, heat discoloration you can see, that actually has to do with them being fast blow fuses in something like semiconductor operations. These operate at the brink of melting, so these are maybe 250 degrees Celsius uh, hot when running uh, full um, 20 amps. 
and if you go to 21 amps it will melt simply because they are the silver thread inside is glowing white hot very uh, exciting way that that was done in the good old days some um, some of the larger and again more modern semiconductor fuses this is also says to 355 lmt 240 volt ac very big and sturdy these are not made to run at these high temperatures these actually sit in circuit uh, or on a pcb something like these um, bossman fuses like this it's a uh, 80 amp let so that's a light blown fuse and we can see it will simply just sit on some standoffs on the pcb like that so these do not run as hard as the older versions. Now, also um, what you can call car fuses, auto fuses, found them in uh, some electronics as well. The uh, well-known little fuse um, multimeter uh, standard here, but it, also, it is also found in um, American uh, fused breakers, or um, not breakers, but fuse holders. You will find these uh, these types of fuses not so much used in europe as we have another standard which you might know from these uh, ceramic holders here this is called a d0 or maybe it's a d01 i can't really remember but that's some different uh, sizes and it all depends on the ring you have inside of here uh, what kind of size fuse you can insert into that fuse holder that's how that was controlled there's also a larger version here as you can see that's probably the the d0 it's a 35 amp um, would also be known as a tariff um, fuses used in front of the measurement meter in the old days back of some normal fuse holders some different um, automatic very small current uh, dc breakers one amp and 0.2 amp that's uh, probably the smallest automatic circuit breaker i have come across other than that we see the normal busman and busman semiconductor and here we have the small d01 the household uh, fuse for the ceramic fuse holders seen these in a lot of uh, older Danish homes a higher voltage rated 50 amp busman semiconductor fuse fuse link let's see what's that okay so that's a new package of these uh, fuses for the UL approved fuse holders other than that just some salvaged um, fuse holders here we can see it uses that type actually says one time i mean do, can you even get these in uh, two times three times infinite yeah then it's just a solid piece of brass then it's infinite what just a small one hiding down there two amp look at that that's a miniature automatic circuit breaker so, I hope you enjoyed seeing some fuses. Until next time, see ya.